all right so our forgetfulness is another illusion we forget our relationship with god krishna then adharma uh, that is in its the becoming servant of krishna i become servant of so many things i say i become servant of my family servant of my uh, country society humanity uh, cats dogs so many things. servant i remain but i become servant of so many things so i have to uh, convert from this servitor say to krishna servitor uh, therefore krishna say dharma sanstavana this is dharma sanstavana what dharma what kind of religion krishna established he said that i incarnate to establish religion he never came uh, to establish a hindu religion or christian religion or uh, mahavira religion or buddha religion he established real religion what is the real religion sarva dharma an paritad you give up all this nonsense so called religion and faith is simple sarva that is religion that is real religion ah all other any other religion who does not teach how to surrender and to god Uh, that is pretension. That is not religion. According to Vedic understanding, this is religion. This is natural. Satmanan sarvatu rakse tato dharma tato dhanam. Uh, first of all, you try to protect yourself, then take to real religion, uh, natural function of the Atma. Then try to. Because we are in this material condition, we require economic development. Also. So that is very easy. Also, Krishna has given you enough land to just little work. Uh, the animals are there. The cows they give you milk. If you till a little land, you get some grain. That is sufficient. Uh, economic development. We don't require big factories, great uh, works all, and whole day and night with motor cars and going this way and that. There is no necessity uh, for economic development. This is my simply at the end he will eat some grains or some this or that little, and that whole day. Uh, therefore, they are called mula, according to Bhagavad Gita. They are rascals, mula ass, just like ass. Hey, the beast, a bird, he takes water man's low, three times, uh, four times, whole day working, but eating a morsel of grass. That's all. He has no knowledge that I take the morsel of grass and live, I live, and why whole day I wear this so much tons of Clothing of the washer man. We have no experience of the ass, ass's business in India. Uh, the washer man loads the ass three times, and he goes to the uh, water side, and the washer man washes all these clothing in some bank of river or reservoir of water. Again, evening, the ass brings back. Different. So uh, the karmis they have been described in the Bhagavad Gita mula as simply unnecessary uh, working day and night, whole day, without taking care of the atma, without taking care of the religion, ignorant. What is this nonsense? You are losing yourself. Huh? You do not know what life you are going to get next life. Huh? You don't care for this. Never mind. What about life I get? This life I got. Let me work hard and accumulate money. Huh? Where the money will be? Huh? In the bank. My sons and my daughters will enjoy. Huh? This is the. The sāpna-buddhi-kuna-pītita-dhāvita. 
bodily, all bodily conception. Ata grihat chetra sutatra vittai janasyamo hoan. This is illusion. This is illusion. Simply walking like us, without knowing what is the end of life, what is the destiny of life. Uh, all assets, we all this means. Uh, <laughs> uh, Krishna consciousness movement is very nice. You can understand what what is what. Uh, that is knowledge. So tato dharma tato dhanam atmani bhikite sati kuto dharma kuto dhanam. But if you do not understand yourself, what you are, then what is the meaning of your religion and your economic development? If you do not know what you are, first of all you must know what you are and what is your business, what is your destination, what is your aim of life, then begin work, begin religious, become economic developer and so on, so on, so many things. But if you are in darkness to understand yourself, then what is the meaning of this? Uh, accumulation of wealth or so-called religion and so-called economy. No. Uh, so here Narad Mani advises uh, that uh, you have explained dharmada so artha In different literature you have divided uh, the whole Vedas in uh, understandable language, Puranas. Puranas means supplementary to the Vedas, to explain the Vedic knowledge according to the quality. Every human being is under some quality of the material nature. Some of them are in darkness or ignorance. Some of them are in uh, passion. And some of them are mixed ignorance and passion and some of them are in light or goodness. Uh, not all in the same level. There are different classes of men. Uh, just like uh, in our Hydrate library we find so many philosophical books. But if you go to ordinary man he will find uh, some nonsensical literature, fiction, and sex ideology, these, that. According to test, according to test, different tests, because there are different classes of men. That will be explained in the next part. He says, Narad Mani, natat vachas chitrapadam harerjasa jagat pavitram pradini takarvichi tad vāyasaṁ tītham usanti mānasā nadyatra haṅśā niramanti sikṣa. So he is comparing all the books written by Vyāsadeva, including the Vedānta philosophy. He says that this is vāyasa tītham. Vāyasa tītham, vāyasa means crows. And the crows and their uh, uh, um, place of pleasure. Have you seen crows? In India we have got many crows. In your country crows are not free. Uh, but in India the crows, they take pleasure in all nasty things. Uh, the crows. They will find they will uh, take place in a place where all nasty things are thrown, garbage. They pick out the garbage, uh, find out whether there is milk, whether there is pus, where, whether just like uh, flies. They will sit down on the stool, uh, and the uh, bees, they will try to take honey. Even in the animals, you will see. Uh, the honey, the bees will never come to the stool. 
and the ordinary 